Hey guys, welcome to our continuing series of uh, NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode featuring our driver Fredo Bangino IV. Uh, I'm going to keep the intro as short as possible because I'm tired from working all night. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with this. In our last episode, uh, Fredo went to Homestead Miami Speedway. Was pretty mid during that race. Get finished 21st for the third week in a row. But did manage to actually lead a couple of laps, which I uh, overlooked uh, during the uh, pit stop cycle while uh, we was almost trying to crash ourselves out of the race. Then next week at Texas Motor Speedway, Fredo wound up having an excellent run. Finished in the top 15, led some laps, even challenged up with the front guys for a little while. So that's kind of a recap of last week's episode. This week, we're headed to our second career Extreme Dirt uh, dirt Tour Series race with the Gold Mine Racing Team. Fredo uh, finished 19th in his first outing. So, uh, yeah, we're headed to uh, Durban uh, Raceway. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started and see where he winds up. All right, we're ready to qualify now. Let's see how uh, let's see how Fredo does uh, in his second career dirt tour series start here. Let's see how well he qualifies. I gotta say the car feels pretty good. Yeah, nineteenth. I mean, that's not terror. That's not dead last, but that's not what I was hoping for. I was uh, kind of hoping for a uh, better start than that. But uh, looks like Ryan Foster has a pole, and Caleb Stevenson has the outside pole. And you can just kind of look there for your favorite driver. Uh, Tony Stewart qualified 10th. That's uh, kind of a not so great qualifying effort there, but uh, yeah, uh, there's a look through the field there. So let's go ahead and head to our uh, let's go ahead and head to the race. So okay, we're ready to start our second career dirt tour series with Fredo McGill. We're underway at Durban, and uh, apparently we're already making contact with people. So oh wow, uh, okay, I was not expecting that. Uh, Oh, oh wow, they are like really getting after it. Uh, okay, this, this may end up being a very wild race. And, oh, oh we, okay, that's bad. Um, yeah, that's... Okay, now we've got uh, engine damage and some pretty heavy uh, front end damage as well. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, can't be, uh, we can't be destroying our car here. So, and now we are dead last. Well, not anymore, but, um, you know, Fredo, uh, has really been struggling, uh, as a lady. He had that good run in the truck series at Texas. But, uh, but yeah, we, oh, okay, this is not good. We, we are really not having a good day here. Okay, we're, we're just going to pit. So, all right. So, we're still on the lead lap, thankfully. So, uh, let's, let, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can gear ourselves back up to somewhat respectable, um, uh, racing. My Goodness, they are just bouncing off each other. Okay, so uh, this this track, uh, yeah, th this is a wild track. Um, th th this is like some serious tight confines here, 
and the uh, and the AI is really racing hard. So. Okay, these guys are just running over the top of us now. Oh, come on, Fredo. You gotta, you gotta get it together, man. Uh, well, of course, we're running 17th, so we're two spots better than where we started now, 16th. So, uh, maybe Fredo can, uh, can get it going here. You know, old Fredo, uh, Fredo's kind of showing some life here uh, these last couple weeks. Maybe that, uh, maybe that good run in the truck series uh, and run uh, leading a few laps. Maybe that can give him a little boost in confidence here. So, and we got some slightly better equipment than what we had to start out with. Um, hopefully, some of these guys will like start taking each other out. Maybe uh, the way they are racing, uh, I would not be shocked if. That, uh, that doesn't start happening. So. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the cars get... Okay, they're putting us in the wall now. Okay. Uh, these guys like to really need to chill out. So, but uh, hey, look at there. We're up to 12th. Fre Fre Fredo's showing some life. Oh, wow. That guy... Uh, whoever's up in front of me just... Uh, whoever's up in front there uh, just... Uh, tried to uh, drive head on into the wall so uh, yeah this is getting uh, this is getting pretty wild right now so looking at the map the 20 car is in the lead uh, and lapping people yeah, boy, we're really getting unstable and we're losing some spots now so come on Fredo you you gotta get it together, man. Whoa! Okay. Um, these guys are like really getting crazy. I mean, that double zero just uh, just tried to. Uh, Really, uh, really scare everybody. So, uh, so yeah. So, all right, we're we're closing back in on eleventh place. Um, okay, we got passed again. Uh, okay, that was the leader that passed us. So we got three laps to go. So we're we're actually a lap down, unfortunately. And man, he, these guys are like driving out of their minds. So, you know what? Take that. Yeah, that's what you get for messing with Fredo Bangino the fourth. All right. 11th place. That's... That's not a bad showing. Uh, we're, we're making a lot of improvements right there. So, uh, so yeah, even though we finished the lap down, um, almost finished outside, almost finished in the top 10. Um, so, yeah, let's check out CU1. Uh, Leslie Gomez wins the race. Matthew Day finishes second. David Ryan finishes Third, Alan Anderson fourth, Roy Wood fifth. Sixth is Ryan Foster, Eric Wright finishes seventh. Eighth is Randy Davis. Caleb Stevenson ninth, and Tony Stewart rounds out, rounds out your top ten and your lead lap cars. And then uh, there's the rest of the field right there. So, yeah, actually a pretty decent showing for Fredo. Um, He's, uh, he's showing some life, and the car uh, seemed to handle pretty good, too. So, all right, let's see what the next race brings us. Oh, I almost forgot uh, your uh, points after two races. Uh, Eric Wright, the points leader with one win. Uh, Matthew Day is second. Caleb Stevenson, third. Tony Stewart, fourth. Leslie Gomez with the win moves up to fifth in the point standings. 
and that's your top five and then we'll just kind of scroll on down and see where everybody's at and our boy Fredo is 18th in the points uh, you know he only needs a five, uh, let's see he only needs a uh, nine points to get into the top ten it's possible so yeah Fre Fredo's in Fredo's in contention so all right guys like I said on to the next race let's see how well he does okay uh, we're getting ready for our uh, next race in the truck series and uh, apparently we got a contract option here so uh, uh, yeah. you know what let's just go ahead and have a look at it um, Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, Fredo is driving for us at Gold Mine Racing right now, but uh, apparently they're offering him, offering he, other teams are offering him up some contracts, if I can say that right. So, um, well, he could uh, Clay Greenfield Motorsports. He could drive for them. Um, but a lot of this, a lot of these teams, uh, yeah, you can see he, uh, requires a, uh, pretty high points finishing and that's more than likely never going to happen. So, um, so yeah, sorry, Fredo, you're still driving for us in the truck series. So yeah, so Fredo's staying put right here, no matter what he says. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys, let's go to Richmond and the short track. All right, we're ready to qualify here at Richmond International Speedway. Fredo, uh, Fredo had that great run last week at Texas. Let's see how he does. Um, let's see if that translates into something positive for this race. So, oh, boy, we are really tight right there. So, uh so this may not be a great run. We'll see what happens here. starts 29th so yeah right about right about the usual so um, so yeah um, again Fredo not qualifying great uh, there's your uh, pole sitter right there Stuart Friesen uh, there's look at the top 10 starters right there we'll kind of scroll down let you guys pick your favorite driver so And it looks like Tate Fogelman rolls, rounds out the field in 30 seconds. So, yeah, not a good qualifying effort for Fredo. Let's see how he does in the race. All right, let's see what happens. We're underway at Richmond. So, yeah, uh, uh, let's see if Fredo can uh, make some headway uh, from this uh, not so great starting spot here. Th this is a pretty fun. Short track to race at, if I remember correctly. Um, wow. Okay, these guys are like uh, they're they're starting to they're starting to feel themselves a little bit. So we we may have to be a little bit on the careful side here. The good news is uh, fresh tires will be a will play a big role in this race. Uh, if we can catch these guys on old tires and we got fresh tires. We could probably do something here, but right now uh, we're not we're not doing good at all. Uh, Fredo is uh, has pretty much come back down to earth after that uh, really nice run, uh, and you know we're back we're back here uh, in the back again. And uh, boy, these guys are really slicing and dicing. Good grief. These, somebody's lit a fire under these guys. They are really getting after it back here. 
uh, th this is this is pretty wild to watch. Uh, it's been I wouldn't say tame, but uh, it's it, it's not been the crazy racing, um, the super crazy racing that we've. Uh, at the, oh boy, there we go, we're spinning. Okay, that's bad. So, yeah. All right, let's get our tires and fuel, so might as well get off sequence from these guys a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's actually a problem right there is the apron. Um, it, oh boy, okay, uh, we're, we're making enemies. Okay, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, getting on the apron right there, that's kind of a bad, that's a bad thing because it does like to spin the truck out. So uh, we will have to uh, make note and be careful of that uh, as we go throughout the race here. Oh, but I'll tell you what, the fresh tires do seem to be helping a little bit. We're kind of coming up through the field a little bit. Hopefully this can keep up. We got 46 laps to go. We got a long way to go, though, in this race. So uh, hopefully my man Fredo can uh, can get the job done here, as long as he's patient and we don't do crazy stuff like spin ourselves out. Man, these guys are really getting after it in this race. I mean, they are taking no prisoners whatsoever. Hey, look, we're we're up to 17th place, so we're we're doing something right here. But it feels like we're starting to free up a little bit as the run goes on. And boy, howdy, okay, uh, <coughs> we just uh, we just slammed in the back of Lassard, so he probably won't be very happy with us now. And we don't need to be doing that. Okay, let's uh, let's just come in and get our tires again. So, and yeah, we're right back in dead last. Yeah, go figure. We lost 15 spots. Of course, it probably didn't help we did we uh, did all that damage on the left side of the truck. So, uh, so yeah, that, that didn't help things out any. So, we're, we're really going to have to kind of mind our P's and Q's here. Okay, wow, these guys are like... Uh, they're getting pretty crazy. So we got 38 laps to go. We can go 20 laps on fuel, maybe tires if possible, if we're not uh, careless. So we theoretically could do it on one more stop. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how the tires hold up uh, in this race. And uh, also how crazy the... Uh, the rest of the field decides to race because they are not giving an inch. And look at that pack up ahead of us. My goodness. They, okay, okay, this is bad. Okay. We, oh, that was not what we needed. So now we're going to have to work, work our way back up to where we can catch these guys again. Oh, Fredo, you gotta get it together, man. He was showing so much promise last week, uh, in the last episode. And it's just kind of going all back into the toilet again. But it seems like he's coming back on these guys, so maybe, just maybe, he can kind of work his way back up through the field again. Okay, wow, these guys are like blocking us and everything else. I don't know what's happened in the last since the last episode, but Richmond has a uh, <coughs> has caused the AI to go crazy. So, oh, the the ten truck has uh, hit the wall. So you know what? Let's come in and get tires again. 
I mean, why not just keep fresh tires on this truck and see what happens? So let's see how many laps we got left to go. Uh, we got, according to that, we got 21 laps of fuel remaining, and we've got 28 laps remaining. So we'll have to pit with seven to go. <coughs> the good news is we'll have fresher tires than everybody. The bad news is if we pit under green, we're going to lose a lap. So, uh, well, I, I take that back. If they pit, we'll be a lap ahead of them. So, uh, I mean, it, it depends. We we could cycle back around where we're uh, where we're in a pretty good spot, uh, especially if we can work our way up through the field. So let let's just kind of let things play out and see what happens here. So, uh, right now, we're kind of slowly starting to work our way up through the field. Uh, we're up to 22nd. Well, battling for 22nd right now. Maybe 21st. So, yeah. Um, we can kind of make something happen here. But these guys are like racing bonkers. So, it is crazy how they're racing. Okay, this is, uh, this is getting a little hairy. These guys are not messing around. We gotta get past all these trucks. I mean, these guys are are really going wild over here. So, okay, we kind of cleared that big group back there behind us. So uh, that's that's good. We got another group of trucks up here. Um, okay, uh, these guys are starting to really uh, cause some trouble here. So do we want to pit? I'm going to stay out. Because I think they'll put us up towards the lead. So we're, we're now we've got the older tires, but and we're beside the 10 truck of all people so uh, yeah the, the the 10 truck and us and fredo is racing for the lead so yeah our, our frenemy is battling for the lead with us and so is the 34 truck Th this is getting wild y'all so we got 19 laps to go. We got 15 laps of fuel remaining. So now it's it's four laps short instead of eight. Could, could we get another caution, maybe make it to the end? I, I would rather have fresh tires if it was me. We didn't need to be doing that. Okay, that cost us a bunch of positions. Uh, so we we got we got to try to take care of it, Fredo. Uh, try to keep keep this uh, decent run going right here. And wow, we are really starting to slide now. The tires are starting to go away big time. So, yeah, uh, our gamble may not be paying off right now. Uh, where we stayed out, try to get get a, get some time up front because uh, now the tires are really starting to go away now. So, our, our best bet is to try to ride it out and maybe these guys will come back to us. So, and we don't need to be doing that. Okay, we're sliding, we're sliding, we're sliding. Okay. Uh, yeah, this thing's starting to get, like, really loose now. So, do we... Probably our next pit stop, we probably need to, like, go up on the air pressure, maybe drop the wedge down a little bit. Put some wedge in this thing. Because this thing, the handling is just... 
gone off this truck now. And we got 13 laps to go. Kick. Oh boy, I mean, this thing is starting to get evil now. And now the right rear is starting to really heat up. Oh boy, we did not need to be doing that. Okay, uh, we just did a lot of damage right there. So now we're going to have to come in. Uh, let's go ahead and jump the tire pressures up. Let's put a lot of air pressure in there. Uh, let's go ahead and put some wedge in there too. So, all right, I think that's good. All right, we pitted, we made some adjustments. Uh, we may or may not have fresher tires in most of the field. So let's kind of see what we got here. Okay, we got eight laps to go. This may be a, a good sign right here. I just hope we didn't tighten the truck up so much that, uh, that now we can't do anything. Okay, something's going on up there. They're like really starting to stack up. Oh man, this is getting wild. This is by far one of the wildest races we've been a part of in this series. Uh, the, these guys are just going absolutely nuts. Oh, come on, Fredo. I'll tell you what, though, he's coming to the front. He, he's coming through the field. We, we, might, we might be able to salvage a good finish, but, man, these guys are really, uh, really getting after it. We're, we're probably going to have to be really careful around these guys. we got five laps to go. Top 15. 14th. Okay, Fredo's got a career day going again. If these guys can behave themselves. I mean, look at these guys. They're just going bananas. Come on, we don't need to be doing that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, um, I think we're going to have to get tires. All right, well, we pitted. We got fresher tires than everybody else and two laps to get it now. Let's see what Fredo can do. All right, Fredo. You're going to have to dig deep. Dig deep, man. There's no saving tires now. Yeah, that's right. Just... Just bulldoze your way through the field. Fredo has the freshest tires of anybody. He's already up to the top 20. White flag. Just, just we're just sending it. We're just gonna send it into turn three. <clears throat> Oh, Fredo's got a career day going. 14th. He's not going to get 13th, but it's still a career day. Nice finish. <coughs> I tell you what, Fredo is steadily improving. We may have something with this guy. All right, just real quick, uh, look at the race results. Uh, ben Rhodes wins the race. Austin Hill finishes second grade. Figure third. Sheldon Creed fourth. Stuart Friesen, 5th, Brent Moffat, 6th, Johnny Sutter, 7th, Angela Rutsch, 8th, Matt Crafton, ninth, Tyler Ankrum rounds out your top 10, and we scroll down through the field, and our boy Fredo has another career best finish in 14th, and as we look through the field... You can see where your favorite driver finishes with uh, Joe Nemechek finishing dead last, 26 laps down with the DNFs. Also, real quick, there's your point stings. Fredo moves up to 22nd in points. He's slowly uh, crawling crawling up there. So, uh, Ross Chastain is still your points leader with two wins and 10 points to the chase. And 
and uh, Johnny Sarbe in second, Stuart Fries in third with a win, Matt Kraft in fourth, Grant Amfinger, uh, Riley Hurt, Sheldon Creed, Zane Smith with a win, Todd Gillen with a win, uh, Austin Hill's in 11th, but uh, Ben Rhodes with a win, he gets himself into the chase as well. So, uh, so yeah, it looks like we may actually have to win a race to get our get ourselves in here uh, to get Fredo in the chase. So, um, yeah, wild race at Richmond. Hey, look at that! Uh, we got somebody bragging on us. Tyler Ingram says uh, Fredo Mangino the fourth had had a really good finish last race. Way to go! So yeah, we got some people actually. Bragging on our boy Fredo here, so that's always good to good to have there. So uh, maybe we'll uh, have a few friends here to kind of protect us from all the uh, people he's angered along the way. So yeah, so all right. And by the way, we also got our uh, bonus money now, so that's nice. So let's take a quick look uh, at our next race, which will be another Camping World Truck Series race, the Jags Two Hundred at Dover. Speedway, so yeah, that'll be our next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care, all. Bye for now.